All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to find the surface area and also the volume um, when given a cone. So the two, uh, two formulas that you're gonna need is total surface area, which that's what this SA means, surface area, is gonna be your pi times radius times your length plus your pi times radius squared. And the volume is gonna be one third pi r squared times h, where h is going to equal the height R equals the radius and L equals the length uh, of the side of the cone from the base um, to the apex or the top. So a couple things we need to kind of look at. One thing is I kind of wrote it up there and it's really tough to kind of write three-dimensional figures and kind of get you that visualize, visualization of it. But here what I wrote and then I kind of just redrew it right without the height going in. So if you're gonna think of, you know, think of a cone, if you're just gonna kind of sit it up there, that's what it'd look like. Where you can see like here's, you know, you're gonna have your circular base, the dotted lines in the back, and the height of it, so the height of my cone, I drew it inside of there, but really the height is gonna be 12. And actually, let's see what we're talking about. We're dealing with, uh, we're dealing with meters. Okay. So height is 12 meters. The distance from the base, or the length from the base to the tip of the cone is gonna be 13 meters. And the diameter is 10 meters. So if I'm gonna start doing the surface area, oh, well. So what I did was, I just kinda of tipped this over so you guys can see it in a different light, where 13 would be this length, 10 would be this length, and if I wanted to draw the height again, it'd be something like that, with where it's gonna make 90 degree, and that would be 12. So hopefully you guys just kind of see, you know, as a cone, this is a cone sitting on a flat surface. This is a kind of tilted to its side so you can see the, uh, the bottom or the base. So if I want to find the surface area, all I'm going to really do is plug in the values and see it. Now I don't have a calculator with me, so I'm not going to try to approximate with pi. I'm just going to leave my answer in terms of pi. So what I have is surface area. It says pi times radius times my length. Well, my, my diameter is 10. Remember the radius is half of your diameter. So that's gonna equal five times 13. And five times 13 is going to give me 65. So I have 65, actually let's just write it all out real quick. Pi times my radius, which is five, times my length, which is 13, plus pi times radius squared. Again, remember my radius is five. Five squared is gonna be 25. But I'll just write it in there so you guys can see where I'm giving you my values. So therefore, the surface area, in terms of pi, 5 times 13 is going to give me 65 pi plus 25, um, 25 pi. And then, now, since these are like terms, I can add these up together to give me surface area equals 90 pi. All right? Then, if I want to find the volume, when finding the volume, all I'm going to do is the exact same thing, except now the volume is going to include the height. So the height is going to be 12 times 25 times 1 third. So I have volume is going to equal, um, so I have 1 third radius squared, or again, oh, sorry, 1 third times pi times 5 squared times my height, now which is. 12. All right, so volume equals one third times pi and 25 times 12. Say it's going to be 5, 2, so it'll be uh, 50, it'd be 300. Okay, so 25 times 12, actually, I just did the math there, work, it'd be 300. Okay, one third times 300 is 100, so your volume equals 100 pi. So, if again, if you want to use calculator, you want to get an approximate value, you could plug in pi and multiply them, or your, you know, really your exact answer in terms of pi are going to be those two. So that's how you find the surface area and the volume of a cone.